All right, we got a little road trip today. You wouldn't have noticed it, but it's been the rainiest day in Manila today, and we are headed to Baguio. Some of y'all may know, it is the coldest city in the Philippines. I used to live in the coldest city in Vietnam, so something I had to check out and see what it's like, because I think it's gonna have similarities. It's gonna have its differences too. Man, we are close to the terminal somewhere. We gotta find Joy Bus. Joy Bus? We'll follow this man. He told me he knows where to go. Oh man, I got more luggage than I would normally want, but we'll make it work today. Oh, thank you, boss. Who wants to Who wants to put the bid in now? You think that's free, or is it going to cost us a little something? So I actually already bought everything online, printed it off right here. They say if you don't print it off, they can refuse you on the bus, which. They don't want anything electronic at all. And as you get out of the craziness and you turn the corner here, it's kind of crazy. Here are all the buses. I would have never guessed joy bus. from out there. Joy bus. Yeah, that, your bus, because yeah. you're full of joy. <laughs> yep, here we go. Joy bus, Baggio, yes. Oh, wow. Okay, perfect. Man. Yeah, I got a ticket right here. See, you got to print your ticket. Hello. And here is everybody waiting to go to Baguio, I guess. Well, maybe they could be on a different bus. Lily Owen. Oh, Tahoe. I have so much respect for the Tahoe vendors after I've done it. Hello. Gonna follow this guy right here, waiting here. Now there's nobody in here. Take it here. Okay, perfect. Thank you, sir. Okay. Hello. I already have my ticket. It was like 870, but after I used the online service to buy everything, it came out to like 980. It was just under a thousand, and that's what we'll be doing right here. The Joy Bus Premier is actually where I got it right here. I used Pinoy Traveler, bought it online. It was nice, good website. And it was only like 100, 120 peso fee for using them. So definitely worth it because you can do it in advance. They have to pick the seat for you. So see if they got me a good seat. Thank you. Got it. Okay, going already. Oh, not yet? Oh, that bag and that bag, yeah. 30 minutes. Sorry? Tour guide. Oh, tour guide. I'll do that for taking the bag. You can have that. That's what you came in here for. I knew that was not going to be free at all. If you, if you thought that was going to be free, come on, you knew better. Thank you. And I didn't realize it, but that whole room back there, the whole thing was just for Joyride, the Baguio. You get in there, you get the AC. Pretty nice and calm. I got to figure out where to put my bag. Policeman was following me. I don't know if I take it up or you put it in the side. Put it in the side here. Not my first. Oh shoot! My first bus experience. Thanks, boss. Okay, squeeze through here and check out the bus. Hello. How are you? Do I need to take my shoes off. No, no. Okay. Two C. Here we are, right here. Oh man, I already got stuff up here. I can't put my bag here. Let people through. Now I guess I'm gonna steal this spot here. Bathroom this way? Hmm? Bathroom? Okay, we're we'll in the bathroom. Okay, wish me luck before we get on four or six hour journey. Okay, the bathroom. There you go, boss. Hi. Hi, So, Funny thing about the restroom here in the Philippines, they call it CR. I guess they're just a bunch of fans of Messi. Hello. So, I guess they're a bunch of Messi fans because I thought CR was Cristiano Ronaldo, but in the Philippines it means bathroom. Oh. We got entertainment here. That's good as a flight. Plenty of leg room for you boys. Long, long legs here. Now, I forgot to tell you, and I forgot too, because I've 
I don't think I've ever ridden a bus like this, but when you buy this bus, all the way in the back there, they have a bathroom on board. I could have saved five pesos. I hope this would go back too. Right. Learn, we'll oh. learn together. It's my first time. Please go slow and easy on me. The AC is cranking here. I'm kind of like cold. All right. This armrest is pretty cool. Thank you. Well, that just broke, but we're off. Good day, passengers. Welcome to Joy Bus, the executive coach of Genesis Transport Bus to Baguio. Our travel will be four to five hours. May I request to everyone to please fasten your seatbelts? We also have the battery located at the back of the bus. If you need an assistance, just call my attention and I'm willing to assist you. Thank you and God bless our trip. Taho, taho. It kind of feels like a train bathroom. Have you ever been on a train and put a bathroom in there? Right, it's good size. A little handle in case things get really dangerous here. Maybe too much. I don't know. You gotta really grab onto something. Yeah, I'm gonna take a pinkle. While I got you back here. I think I would have enjoyed a B more because look, you get two buttons here. So this one's like, oh shit, you can actually push this part back. And this part is for this. Now when you're in the CC, you don't get that. You just get one little button. And so I can't figure out how to recline my chair like this, which is what I really want. That's why I really want to go to go to sleep. But I can't. I just can't figure out how to recline it. So we're gonna keep going. Oh, in the middle has cup holders. So I think these A, B seats would be what I would want to try next. We're about to pass this like dump truck in a curve. Thank you, have a good day. Oh, it is cool here, and no pun intended. I mean, it is like cool weather. This is so refreshing. Let's grab the bag. Figure out how to get to the hotel. That's us. Okay, so one thing about the bus ride, nothing makes my butt cheeks tighter than passing other buses going uphill on a windy curve. But they drop us off right here at SM. I'm gonna bet you I can use Grab or something. I need to call something to get to my hotel. Actually, I just looked it up. It is a 12 minute walk. We're about to walk this. Got these legs. Been on a bus for four hours, four and a half. Let's work them out. Let's get that workout in, get these heels done. Besides, what better way to see the city and get out on your two own legs? And walk around. Let's just get out of the bus station first. Nothing like a good old cool jeepney IG photo. Yo, check this out. All you can eat pork or beef, 280 or 360 at four or five dollar buffet. <laughs> that is so cheap. Everything's slanted here. Nothing straight. We're like city center right now. Got the KFC, got 7-Elevens. We could really be anywhere in the Philippines because they are everywhere. But we just passed the post office. Get a little bit of a downhill break here. It just cracks me up when people are like on their phone and they just don't even care they're about to run into somebody. They're not gonna look up from their phone. They're just gonna keep going. Oh, I didn't know, I didn't realize I had a restaurant here in uh, Old Baguio, 1945. Yeah. Had it about 52 years before I was born. Wait, had it about 48 years before I was born. <laughs> Did my math the wrong way. We're 
respect the grind, respect the effort out here playing. Oh, another one. Okay, main like streets behind me. We're just going up a little side alley and then we should be there, we're getting close. This uphill is not ideal. This is Cedar Peak, but I'm somewhere close to here. Oh, oh so no surprise where you're staying resembles kind of like a mall in the Philippines. We gotta go straight down and we gotta tell the guard to let us up. I found this place on Airbnb. So there was this place that like the lodge, it was like a lodge tile place. Uh, it looks super popular, but I decided to go with the Airbnb and just, I don't know, mix it up. Cedar Peak, this is it. Oh. Ouch. Hello. Hi, sir. How are you? Thank you. Five one six. Yes. Perfect. Thank you so much. Smooth check in, easy. Uh, once you find the place, uh, it's all interconnected and kind of crazy. I get easily lost, but let's get into the room. Oh. Wow. It actually looks nothing like what I thought it would. But we're five sixteen, so it'll be this way. Fourteen fifteen. Bet we're next. Yes, this is us right here. Okay. And here we go. Now look at this, it's not perfect. I just don't know what else, what else you need. You got a nice fridge here, microwave, cooking space. Not that I'm gonna be doing any cooking, but it's nice to have it. Bathroom spacious, smells so clean. Look how wide everything is, no stains. Lots of space, water heater, blue, the, the, the most unnatural color of blue I've ever seen, towels. I mean, there's just soap everywhere. And this is like $30. I'll double check. Here are all my elevator keys and everything. And then again, what else do you need? You got the bed, you got the nice Wi-Fi in the room so you know it's gonna be fast. You don't, we don't want none of that shared stuff. We want our modem, our router, just for us. Nice little mirror for getting ready, which I clearly don't use very often. You even got a couch in here and closet space. This is all, this kind of cool thing about Baggio, man. You get all that kind of like lodgy, just like mountainous wood lodge feeling uh, when you really probably wouldn't expect it when you go to the Philippines. Do we have a view though? That's the question. Nope. No view. Unless you want to creep on this guy. You think he's texting? It's much softer than I thought it was gonna be. Oh. I stayed at New World uh, Makati. This is so this bed is more comfortable than New World Makati. I kind of like the softness. I'm usually a firm guy, but this is really soft, especially by like Asian standards. So soft, but I will take it. Wow, that's a big TV. Anyways, it's been up since 2.30. I'm exhausted. It's about 5 p.m. right now. Let's just head out. We're gonna grab a little bop to eat. This video is going to keep going. We'll get up tomorrow morning and we'll go explore. It's just going to get dark, hard to see. And I got some other things planned up for nighttime activities here in Baguio. So let's really just uh, get a little bite to eat. Let me freshen up so I'm at my best when we explore in the city together. Okay, let's head downstairs. Lingnam or Solibao? Oh, which one? This one. Uh, Philippine Authentic Food. Oh, oh, road. Ah, road drill. <laughs> Okay, I heard wrong. A road trip. Okay, I heard wrong. Thank you so much. Hello, how are you? Just one person. Thank you. Okay, so I asked her. I was like, "Yo, where's some good food?" She said, "Go to road trip." I heard her completely wrong. I didn't understand her, and so <laughs> I felt bad. I had to go back and ask. Sorry. Uh, but then she came back here and led me to the restaurant. Oh, you can do a whole boodle fight here. Oh my gosh. Unfortunately, I'm one person. Do you have any like Filipino dish you recommend? It's all Filipino dish, sir. But any Filipino dish you recommend? Oh, uh, the Dinak Dakan, sir, and the Bicol Express, and then the Crispy Adobo. I love Bicol Express. Is this nice spicy here? Lots of coconut? So there's a level of spice, so okay. it's your choice. Or mild or long. Let's make it extreme. Extreme? Yeah. Let me get the Bicol Express. And then for drinks, do you have uh, do you have alcohol here? Oh, sir, I don't, I'm not 
sure, but I'll check it. First. Okay, thank you. I am a sucker for Bicol Express. That's why after Baguio, back to Manila, then we're gonna head out to Bicol. Hey. Hello. That's me. Mm -hmm, that's me. Maxi on Facebook, yeah. <laughs> nice to meet you. Hi, Sophia. Sophia. Hi, of course, of course. Let me stand up. <laughs> what do you want to say? <laughs> Hello, Sophia. How are you? Okay, thank you to fan Sophie coming. It's Ilocano food, which... No, I was going to say Ilolio, City of Love, but Ilolio, City of Love. Sorry. Anyway, she said it's not Baguio food, so <laughs> not a great start. This is the sour one, right? Yeah, the iced tea. Oh, that's the iced tea. I thought it was, that's the soup. <laughs> that's the sour. That's the sour one. Thank you. I think this is going to be like soy sauce and chili. Do you need 10 pesos? It's okay. I have 10 pesos. No, thank you. It's okay. <laughs> uh, they were like having trouble with change. Nobody had 10 pesos. I said, like, hey, I'm actually carrying the small change. I never do that. So it does me a favor if they take it. Oops. Sorry about that. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah, don't worry. <laughs> they try giving it back or something. I don't know. Uh, it's one of my favorite soups. Something about just like green chili acid, like a sweetness from onion, and I do believe like pork broth. So good. Awesome. Wow, looks good. Thank you so much. Look at this. This looks insane. The the Bico Express so different than I thought it'd be because. This doesn't look rich with like coconut cream. You can still see that iconic green chili, still got that pork, and then the rice with the little fried garlic on top. What a beautiful touch. Wow, you can just see all that flavor and spices that have coated and covered that pork in there. So fragrant. Oh. I mean, I could eat Bicol Express every day. That's not at all what I was imagining. But what it is, is almost like a roast crispy pork belly, then been coated in these aromatic ingredients and tossed in a sauce. Still not as spicy as I thought it would be. Beer. Yes, thank you. Thank you. And what goes great with crunchy, fatty pork and spice? Beer. I think this is just soy sauce and chili in here, so this is gonna be actually just another layer of flavor. This is the most flavorful Filipino food I've had. Let me tell you something, this Bicol Express right here, is a dish that would make you fall in love with the Philippines. I know everybody says sasig, lechon. I mean, so many dishes to eat in the Philippines, right? That's why the islands are beautiful because you get such variety and creativity when it comes to dishes. But Bicol Express, this is one of those dishes you gotta try. And apparently you gotta go to Baguio to try it. <laughs> I mean, perfect side salad, little cucumber, little crunchy lettuce. There's some sour component with that sesame seed as well. This one's almost too fatty, too heavy, too rich. Get to Senegal. Perfection. Another thing is just the rice. This rice to me is perfect for this dish because it's not like a jasmine or basmati as much, but it, it has the essence of a japonica rice, which means it's gonna be shorter grain, starchier, it's gonna stick together so that that, that sweetness from it really goes beautiful with that crunchy, fatty, spicy pork dish. Mm. Three hundred. Yes. Perfectly three hundred. Oh yeah. Then I have three hundred. Thank you so much. Of course. Can I see? I just want to say, how much was the actual plate? Yeah. Two hundred twenty. Two hundred twenty. Oh wow! So much food for two twenty. <laughs> Do you know where I should go to get something like sweet? Uh, Victoria, I'll try it tomorrow. They're almost closed. Yes. I thought but they had like how cow here. There's no tiny tail. I'll take away, okay. Do you have like how cow? I saw like how cow on the menu. How cow? How cow? Is that like milkshake? Uh, no, no. I don't have anything around right here. Uh, they like the milk tea? Uh, maybe. Where do you have? Oh, there. Infinity. Oh, this one. The infinity yes. is good. Yes. Okay, let me walk. Let me take this off my stomach. Right, okay. Thank y'all so much. Okay. So, no, thank you. Thanks, boss. Uh, okay, I figured it out. So it's road trip, but it's by. I, I lost the name already. It's like Riquitis or Riquitos or whatever she said. I, she called me. She told me Riquitis or Riquitos, and that's what I was looking for. That's why I couldn't find this place. That was delicious. It definitely took me for a road trip down to Bicol. I guess you could say. Ooh, it was good. 
Um, but I want something sweet. I got that, that sour, spicy pork fat on my tongue. I don't make the rules, I just follow them. Everybody off school and work now, so it's getting busy. But it's not gonna stop us from this hunt for ice cream. This is what I want right there, that. I don't think it's down here. But we'll go ask. Boss, do you know where this is, Halkow? Don't know. Oh, it says it's right here. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, these. Not only how does it have a 4.8 rating, over 100 views. Nobody knows where this delicious milkshake is. I've surrendered. But the real question is, as a kid, I love dip cones from McDonald's. After basketball games, if I was ever in town, because I grew up in the country, right? You gotta go into town if you want to eat McDonald's. I got a dip cone. But I know Jollibee's does a good one too. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I should just do like a dip cone off. I could do that. Let's see if they have it first. And we wait. Yeah, they got new stuff. Christmas cookie creations. Oh, we picked the right spot. Okay, our turn. I just want sweets. Uh, yes, please. Add to my order. Choco banana pie. Yes, please. Add to my order. Large peach, six to go. No, the floats aren't available here. Peach mango pie. Let's just try these two. Oh. Mm. And it comes right there. And now we get mine. Perfect. Just wait over here. Thank you. Okay, from here I can see 2052. Is this backwards? Oh, it's backwards. We're actually 52.50. Even better, because I see it. Oh wait, no, that was upside down. It's actually 50.25. Now it makes it 50.25. Is this 50.25? Yes. Okay, thank you. Those are really hard to read. Anyways, back to the room. It's kind of like Shibuya Crossing in Japan, except for in Baguio. Was I going to do the McDonald's off? Yeah, what did I go in there for? Oh yeah, the dip cone, they didn't have it. But the new stuff intrigued me more. You brought your own Tupperware. Yeah. <laughs> I got some snacks, but that lady, she brought like the Tupperware. She's ready to go. She's ready to get some snack snacks. Hey, you were right. It's very muscle up. Ah. That's yeah, good. It's uh, authentic food in the Philippines. It's very delicious, thank you. Okay, I went ahead and grabbed some Filipino sweets as well. Cause you're gonna eat sweets. You might as well eat sweets. Actually, instead of like all these cookie creations where you're taking cookies and you're putting it in there, that's pretty cool, it looks delicious. Why couldn't you take something like, I don't know, like this ube cookie and like crumble it up and make like a, I'm gonna call it a McFlurry, even though we didn't go to McDonald's and crumble that up in there. That'd be good. Mm. I don't know how I feel about this chocolate banana pie. Let me give y'all a little break here. Ooh. Now, when I was young, I used to eat fried Mississippi mud pies. So if this is anything like that, I'll be in heaven. My uh, Ooh. It's like transport me back to eight years old. All them fried chocolate pies I've been looking for my whole life. I've not had that flavor, that imagination, just that that nostalgia. Well, for I guess for 22, 22 years. I never thought I would find it here in the Philippines, but that's it right there. Mmm, that intense chocolate. Almost like sauce on the inside. I love that banana. I'm usually not a banana guy, but it's those, those sour ones you get with like banana quay and all that. It's been kind of mushed up, probably mixed with a little bit of palm sugar. Mmm, that's so good. That's like one of the best fried pies you're gonna find. The fact that y'all put like this margarine on this and just sprinkle sugar on it and the soft, sweet, pellowy, not even pellowy, it's still kind of like ooey gooey. It's almost like this bread is still undercooked, but since it's dessert sweet, kind of reminds me of just like a little bit undercooked cinnamon roll, but without the cinnamon, instead of like an icing sugar, it's like margarine and just actual like a granulated sugar. Mm. 
Wow. And I like to eat sweets. That's why I've gotten way too much here. Let's head on to the main show for it melts. The Jolly Bee, what do y'all call this? Like Sunday twirl. We may not have gotten the dip cone, but that's what I was wanting. That chocolate coating on the ice cream. The only problem, what I like about the dip cone, the first bite's always the best bite because you get the chocolate before it sets and gets hard. Facts. And they can chips a hoy cookie, put chocolate, caramel fudge on it. It's good. It's okay. Like to me, I would rather have like an Oreo McFlurry. 10 times better than that. But if I could have the fried pie from Jollibee and the Oreo McFlurry from McDonald's or dip cone, now we're talking. And then just for giggles, I got this one because it looked interesting. Mm -hmm. Ube cake into Jollibee ice cream. Oh, there it is right there. Ube cake, Jollibee ice cream. Okay. White vanilla ice cream with that ube cake that you get from the bakeries. Somebody, please. I'm trademarking it. Like, you just gotta let me know. Is that a thing? Like, you gotta tell me, Max, stop trying to be a white colonizer. Like, we've been doing that for years. Stop trying to take credit for it. Like, duh, we've already done that. You're slow. You're late to the game. You don't know anything. You gotta let me know. All right, that's gonna do it for today. Had to fix that little sweet craving. Uh, this video's not over, though. I want to keep it going. Two days. Didn't really feel like it was enough for one video. Uh, so I'll wake up in the morning and we'll explore a little bit and we'll keep going. New day. Same Max. And for all the people watching, because you love it so much, same shirt. Uh, we've come down here to Burnham Park. Most famous for its man-made lake over here. Like burn ham, like you burnt the ham. That's how it's spelled. It's Filipino. Shouldn't you be called like... I don't know, like Burnt Let John? I think that would be more an appropriate name. But, gorgeous day. A little overcast, which I like. Not too much sun. Perfect temperature. It's nice to be somewhere when, as soon as you step outside, you don't soak your clothes with this nasty, pungent sweat. Let's explore. I think this side's better. Oh, uh, look, you can take these bikes. Hello. Yeah, look for a bike. So I was gonna take the boat. So we gotta find something. Yeah, look at everything they got here. They got a skating rink here. How do you have a skating rink? It's gotta be inside. It's gotta be in the mall or something. Rose garden, biking. I kind of want to get out there, but the problem. What's up, man? Oh, you do tattoos. Yeah. Temporary tattoo. Temporary tattoo. How much for a tattoo? Uh, the minimum is one hundred. It depends on the size and the design. Okay. Yeah. Let's get me something kind of. What do you recommend? What are you gonna put? Uh, maybe like on my hand here. I gotta go over this way. They always do business, then we gotta move a little bit. Yeah, maybe like here, like right around here. Yeah, yeah is that cool? What do you got for guys? These... I, can I get this on my breast? I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, look at this. You got uh, some anime too. Shout out. Shout out. Sai Queen. What's your name? Sai Queen. Sai Queen. Yeah. Okay, Max, nice to meet you, man. Oh, these are cool. Yeah. We have a lot here, sir. Hey, man. Show me my hand. Maybe just like there, yeah. Mm, yes. I don't know. You got anything like that's like, like or like Philippines related? Philippines. Uh, no, this is Philippines. Yes. Uh, okay. Custom design, like. You want to do custom design for Philippines? Yeah. I trust you. Let's do like custom uh, design. Okay, sketch yeah, just sketch it out. Okay. Let's then do that. See. Perfect. Do I sit here? Yeah, you can sit down. Okay. Uh, what's your name? Aljun. Aljun, nice to meet you, brother. Yeah. Where are you from? From the USA, brother. Just uh, custom design, like a uh, Polynesian. Yeah, 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 whatever is like. We can set on like this size. Okay, perfect. How much would that be? Uh, we can, uh, I, I sketch first so uh -huh. that you can see the design. Okay. You know the Kalasag? I don't know that. The shield. Oh, the shield. Yeah. So you can make the shield here. <laughs> new right. pin. Yeah. Need new pin. <laughs> it should be easy with my white skin. And after the the guard will go. Oh, uh, so I got I got it. Don't worry. The security goes by. Then we start again. Really? Yeah. So simple. Uh, no problem. I'm here all day. They are getting the first look at the uh, Filipino drama. Mm. Maybe like a rom con.
How many tattoos you do one day? Uh, three or five. Oh, nice. Uh, it's like that. Nice. Man, lots of details. Yeah. And these are all your designs? Yeah. You got a lot of cool designs. Nice. How long you been doing this? Uh, it's been six years. So. Oh, nice. But I'm a tattoo artist also at the real one. Real, do real too. You do henna during the day, tattoo yeah, at night? This, this one is my sample. Yeah. Oh, right here. Oh, cool. A lot of cool permanent stuff here. Tattoo, you know. Yeah, permanent. Not just a henna. So this one is this one is good for you, sir? Yeah, it's good. How much is this one? Um, because this one is customized. Yeah, how much? How many pesos? Maybe I can give it a 1,500. 1,000, huh? Yeah. Okay, let it go. <laughs> it's got a lot of detail to it. It's nice. It's good. Yeah. We're good. Two colors. Oh, we get two colors, too? Yes. Oh, okay. Shadow. Ah, okay. He's going to shadow it, too. Henna tattoo. Not permanent. <laughs> Do you like doing henna or real tattoo more? For real tattoo, sir. Oh, you like doing the real tattoo? Yeah, this one is for fun only. For practice? Yeah. If we have no schedule and permanent, we go here in Burnham. Extra income. Right. I think henna's kind of hard because I have hair too. It didn't, mm. You don't get the shave first. <laughs> Do they want? I'll pay for them if they want. What? Did they want a henna tattoo? Yeah, but she's a student. Yeah, she should have had the money. I'll pay for her if she wants. Tell her I'll pay. I'll pay the hundred. Yeah, tell her. Hey, hey. Ah, uh, you can get them. You can make your hundred. <laughs> <laughs> If you get somebody that doesn't want to pay, but yeah. they want, I'll pay it. Is this your first time, sir? For henna, yeah. Yeah, yeah first henna. You know Apu Wango, the legend, Mamba Batok? I don't know. Really? I'll have to research, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Some foreigner love to go in Ting Lion, you know, the Ting Lion. Oh, okay. oh yeah. The, one, the, the lady, right? The lady, the lady it is. Yeah. The yeah, I know that one. Mm, She's very famous. Yeah. Have you gone there? Yes. Uh, did you get tattooed there? Yeah, I have you. Oh, man. This one. Right. And she just like takes it. She's like, ting, 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 yeah, ting, yeah, ting, ting. Like, and then this one is for her signature. Oh, OK. Yeah. Did it hurt? Not really. Just a little bit, right? Yeah, yeah. Does everybody love tattooing in the Philippines goes and sees her? Yeah. yeah. Go find somebody. Tell somebody they can get free henna. I'll pay for them. Do that? Yeah, go tell them. You want? Okay. I'll pay for somebody. Go find somebody. You gotta find somebody. How many? How many? Uh, just one or two people. Okay. You can do two people. Y'all gotta find them before I leave, though. Yes. <laughs> they don't believe you. Yeah. Why? Yeah. <laughs> ah. I don't know, seems crazy. Free? Yeah, free. I own your? <laughs> free and they run away. Yeah. yeah. Man. Then they say, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Free? I own your? I'm gonna keep trying. Yeah. Mm. Free? Free Hannah. They can pick whatever they want. Pick. Pick for free. No for free, free. Whatever you want. <laughs> Trying to get people that tattoo addiction. They can pick whatever they want, Max. Max. Uh, Max Bala. He can if he wants. Oh. You want? We're I don't know. I'll pay We're for anybody who wants. You have to show me what you pick. Oh. Oh. I want to see what they pick. Here you sir. Uh, one. Okay, go for okay. it. That's all you. <laughs> you all three want? Yes. Okay, all three good. Get him. <laughs> He's gonna get a cat one. Yeah. Here. Their name. Share him. Kia. Kia. All right. No, <laughs> too much hair. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Sweet. Looks good. 
from now? What's that? What country? USA. USA. Hello, Richard. Hello. Beautiful, right? <laughs> How's the cat looking? Oh, it was so fast. Man, that was fast. Oh, that's crazy fast. I like the cat. So the cat looks good. I got my big old Polynesian tattoo here. Thank you so much. Hey, you're welcome, man. What was your name? I'm Ray Santos. Ray Santos. Nice to meet you. I hope you enjoy, I hope you like it. This one is 300. Okay, cool. Let's go check out how these tattoos are looking. This one is minimal. How's it looking? Oh, it's just yeah. starting. Oh, this it's is done. 100. Okay. Yen. This one is 300. You don't know what should be this one? Four. What's that? Ah, you know? Same na lang kayo. This, mm. 300. Okay, so there's 400. 300. Okay. Then 100. Okay, so 37. 1050, so 2050. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Who love it? Keep the change. Go. That's for everybody. Thank you, sir. Yep. God bless you. Yeah. Hey, keep chasing your dream. Yeah. Thank you very yeah. much. Hi, right, enjoy your tattoos. Bye-bye. Uh, Bye-bye, yeah. yep. sir. Bye-bye. Hey, right, thank y'all. Keep enjoying. See y'all. All right, let's keep going. Now, got some people some tattoos because well, I like tattoos. And part B, like, it goes back to, like, that entrepreneurship, out here grinding, trying to do stuff. I know, I don't know, I think a lot of people out grinding get, grinding get bad publicity sometimes because, like, oh, they're scammers, but... A lot of people out here just trying to work hard and make a living. Person's been doing tattoos six years. Doesn't have time for tattoos. Thought the idea to do henna. That's so smart to me. So I want to support them, keep them going. But I'm hungry. See what I did there? I showed, I showed the tattoo. You see that? Check this out. We got like a skate park here for the kids. Ooh, I was never a skater. I'm too much of a, I'm too much of a wuss. What's up, bro? <laughs> I'm too much of a wuss when it like, you know, you break the legs or whatever. Skaters always be getting hurt. And yeah, that ain't for me. I ain't about that. Oh, this is kind of what I was looking for. Strawberry Tahoe. Oh yeah, strawberry Tahoe. Oh man, sorry, strawberry Tahoe. Maybe a second, I will look. So, found a little food area. Like I got the Korean yolk. What a special ice scramble. Huh. Oh yeah, I finally found like a little food area here. Oh, hello. Ice scramble, what is ice scramble? This, I like this. Oh, so shaved ice. Yes. How much for one? 50, and this one is 60. Okay, can I do 150? Yeah. What do oh. you like, strawberry or melon? Oh, uh, can I do half and half? Ah, uh, okay. Oh, you can do half and half. They have the little pearls here, the bubble tea. Oh, what is this? Milk. Oh, that's the milk powder. Oh, you like this one, ube or chocolate? Oh, ube. You're in the Philippines, have to have ube. Oh, okay. Hello. <laughs> oh, is that the ice slushy? And there's the strawberry flavor. Are you a blogger, sir? Yes, I am. What, what's your name? For YouTube? Oh. YouTube Daily Max. Daily Max? Yes, thank you. What is your name? Mary Beth. Mary Beth, thank you so much. I'll eat right here. Hi. Perfect, thank you. Is it okay if I sit here? Yes. Thank you. Did you have a uh, ice scramble? Yeah. Is it good? Yeah. What flavor do you like? Strawberry. I got both. I got melon and strawberry. Ube. Actually, you got the bubbles yeah, in here too. Ice cream. All right. I gotta try it out. Oh, you get it in the milk powder. You can take a big bite right there. Ooh. Oh man, it's like shaved ice back in America, but it's even better because it's got more of like a slushy texture to it. It's like a mixture between slushy, shaved ice. Masarap, masarap, Mary Beth. Thank you. I just want to say. I mean, this is the strawberry right now. It's absolutely delicious. You can hear her bell. It's almost like Pavlov's law. Now when she does that bell. My mouth start watering. Mm. Oh, the melon. 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 Have you had this? Masarap. Masarap. Very masarap. I think I like the melon more than the strawberry. 
from Baklara. Ah, uh, you're from Baklara oh. Market. Oh. Uh, I've been there. Nice market. Yeah. Yeah. Look at this. I some of the bubbles in here like you get with iced tea. Cool. Do they have like food? Or they sell like like burger? I've seen they have like a burger around here. That one only? Okay. Perfect. I'm just hoping it's not going to rain on us right now. Oh, this is amazing. I wish, I wish I could find this in Manila. Does Manila have this? I feel like I need this in the hotter cities of the Philippines. The milk protein is what does it for me. It looks terrible now that I've mixed it up. I promise, I promise it's good. Thank is that good? You. Is it a picture muscle it up? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Everybody left me. Bye bye everybody. Oh, last person. I guess I ran everybody off. Can I have one tissue? Thank you. I dumped it at the end, all the milk powder go on my face. <laughs> Here you go, Mary. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Also. Thank you. She's got a very nice stall. Super clean. All put together. Very nice. I like your uh, ice scramble. Thank you. Bye bye. <gasps> okay. I need real food. They kind of have this Korean egg yolk sandwich over here, which I kind of want to try. But I also think I want to keep moving. So see if we can run into anything. Whoops. Look at this big chili. <laughs> That's a big chili. That is crazy. Where did you even get a big chili like that? That's where we were just earlier. Does it get any better than this? Like, check it out. The hills with the colorful houses on it. The cool breeze. Overcast, crisp, cool days. Uh, this is this is true heaven for me, at least. Okay, I think we got a taxi right here. You got a taxi? Thank you. Can you go to Amar La Cochina? Amari? Yeah, Amare La Cochina. Do you know that one? Uh, what one is it? Or is it? Uh, the one that's on... There's this address. Ignacio Villamor. Albergo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, okay. You can go there? Yes. Oh, perfect. Thank you. We're hungry, so we're going to eat pizza. It's a pizza like I've had like so many people tell me like you got to eat it when you're in Baguio, so we're going to go try it. Have you had this pizza? Thank you, sir. Is it good? Masarap or no masarap? Masarap. Okay. <laughs> Depende sa, sa nagluto. Ah, okay. Well, hopefully it's going to be masarap now because I'm hungry. Hello. <laughs> Say hello. <laughs> you found it. I already gave it the like. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. No one like. Yeah, I think it's somewhere inside. Cool. There you go. Just take a hundred then. If you don't find anybody, I'll be looking for you when I come back out. <laughs> I'll be waiting for your uploading a video. Okay, cool. Just give me 400. All right, thank thank you, you, brother. Thank you. Yep. So they have one city center, but this one had more ratings. So I want to go to like the original this way with fire. Hello. Is Amari this way? Amari pizza? Perfect. Oh, there's like nothing here. I thought it was going to be like a hotel. I'm surprised this one has all the ratings because it's like empty down here but where are you are y'all open yes, sir. you're open no, no. okay can i take a seat yes, sir. Yes. okay thank you the, this is the famous samare wood fire grill yeah. i don't know what do you think what looks good <laughs> Inside's nice. Oh, uh, and here you have the, the big wood fire oven right here. Wow. Check that out. He's stuffing something down there. Can I sit here? Thank you. So you got people who have been here, they've reviewed it. I think everybody really talks highly about the pizza here. Thank you, sir. Oh. I know it sounds crazy, like you come to the Philippines, you're eating Western food, but man, Philippines, they eat some good Western food. Like honestly, I've had some Western food since I've been in the Philippines already. It's better than anything I get back in Vietnam, so that's why I kind of kind of get my fix of my craving while I'm here. All oh, these look amazing on the picture. Do you have a number one seller? It's a Gorgonzola pizza, sir. Oh, the premium, so the premium. Oh, Gorgonzola pizza. 
Can I do one gorgonzola pizza? Yes, sir. Oh, gorgonzola is my favorite cheese. With prosciutto, arugula, arugula, sun dried tomatoes, walnuts, herbs. Oh, you got some crazy beers here hazelnut, pistachio, macadamia, caramel. Can I do a San Miguel beer, please? San Miguel. Yes, please. Original one, okay, perfect. Thank you, Ramil. Thank you so much. I repeat your circle, okay. Gorgonzola pizza. Yes. Uh, yes. The small one and the pale pale thing. Perfect. Thanks, okay. boss. Uh, is this the honey? This there. They have the honey with the chili on the inside. Oh, for me. Thank you, Ramil. And it's, uh, this one is the chili olive oil. Okay, nice. This one is chili flakes also. Sir. And got the chili flakes here. Yes. We Thank have you. The pure honey for, the, for your good All organic. Pizza. Okay, nice. Oh, it will compare. He said organic. He said it will pair well. <laughs> and check it out. I think these are just like. Maybe these are famous people. Are these famous people? Yes, sir. Oh, so these are all the famous. All of that is a basketball people. Oh, basketball. Filipino basketball players. Yes, sir. Oh, I should have worn my jersey today. <laughs> and, uh, the artist one is Rita Avila. Oh, okay. And we have those, the newscaster, like, um, Mil Chanko, right? Mil Chanko. Nice. Celebrity, Celebrity basketball players yes, all come here. Yes, sir. Oh, okay. So if you're not a celebrity, or if, you're, if you want to be a celebrity, you want to be a basketball player, you gotta come eat here. You know, vlogging is always fun, but there's one thing that makes it better. It's a few beers. Is he gonna make the pizza here? They got the dough that's already proofed. Into the flour. He's gonna roll it out right here. a few pizzas. Oh. oh. <laughs> Look at that beautiful air pocket. Oh man. A little flower bay action. I love the precision, the 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 gentleness. White sauce. Yes. Sir. Is that just? Holy green. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, these are all our ingredients right here. The mozzarella cheese. The mozzarella. That's the gorgonzola right there. Yes. Sir. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Yeah, just a second. Now this is a cheese. It's not that pungent, but you don't want to touch it because then your hands will smell like gorgonzola all day. I used to work at Whole Foods. I worked at the cheese counter. I had to cut cheeses on Thursdays. I always had to cut blue cheese. And gorgonzola was always one of my favorites to cut. A little piece for me as well. Wow, so cool. And then it goes, oh wow. Right onto the brick top. Oh, it's already starting to bubble and everything. I think they've been here for a while. You can see the smoke. You can really start to see the smoke. It's actually not damaged, but imprinted on the brick here by the color change. Very nice. See those bubbles rising up. Too hot for me. Oh, I get to do it. <laughs> okay, I will be the <laughs> smallest celebrity on the on the wall. <laughs> okay, sir. How long is this building here or this uh, restaurant? Uh, this restaurant. This this is the first Amari. Mm. This is uh, already ten years. Yes, ten, ten years. years. Okay, yes. cool. Thanks, boss. You can tell. He's got to keep an eye on it because. I'm okay with it, but between perfection and overburnt, just a thin, thin line. Maybe, maybe even thinner than the line between genius and insanity. Oh, I can hear it bubbling. Oh, 
perfection. Oh, it looks perfectly done. Oh, so you keep it at 600 degrees Fahrenheit? Yes, yeah, sir. So you got to do the, the check. The check. The, you check it always. Check, and it's going to be at 600. You can see it's always around 600 up there. That's hard to do with wood, too, because wood so always burns uh, higher. Pizza, uh, in the oven is two to three minutes. It's already That's cooked. it. It's done. It's perfect. I told you, man. Philippines. We'll take some Western food and freaking do it right. All right. Just got a little salad. I'm going to be a little bit healthy, you know. Oh, perfect. Oh, it goes right here. Thank you, brother. Yes. Oh, um, it's amazing. All right, let's dig into the salad so we can dig into this. That one, the top that one. one. Yeah. Okay, thank you, sir. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Bird, shout out. Okay, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> All right. It's gonna be a little bit healthy, so I had to get a salad. Looks like some type of beef on there, carrots. Got the dressing on there. I love the dressing. It's like tangy. Wow, very tangy and sour. I, I don't even know what it is, and they just call it like a special dressing. <laughs> but it's almost kind of like a balsamic vinaigrette. Mm. But it's not quite that either. I'm surprised how much I love the walnuts on here as well. Refreshing greens. Mm. Flight bag, yo has this type of ecosystem where you get delicious produce and you can taste it in the salad. Probably sourcing it from a farm right in their back door right here. But we didn't come here for salad, we came here for pizza. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Look at that undercarriage right there. Almost no flaw. You can doctor it with honey and chili oil and stuff, but I'm gonna pay my respects and just try it like this. Everybody knows the rule, one bite. to fly to New York? Do you have to fly to Italy? No, you don't have to, because you got good quality pizza like this. Now I had, what is it, Mortino's or whatever, New Makati in Manila, which is supposed to be the best in Manila, but this beats that. Beautifully, beautifully done. I would like something a little bit crispier, but I'll tell you what, other than that, it is right on point. Perfect amount of cheese. Love that gorgonzola coming from there. That touch of blue, with that creamy brie. The crunch from the walnuts that just touch a fatty melt in your mouth prosciutto with a sun-dried tomato oh wow that's really good there's a famous pizza place in manila yes. but this one better yeah yeah we have also the branches of the manila sir we have also the makati uh, uh makati sm mega mall SM oh, let me check it out yes, sure. that's delicious man yes, yes, you deserve it it's so good thank you so much sir. had to try the original though Blown away. I gotta try it with everything though before we score it. With the honey, I'm thinking that little bit of bitter from the blue gorgonzola with the sweetness from the honey. The touch of oregano flake on there. If you like cheese boards, then you're gonna love this pizza. I'm usually pure savory. I don't really want honey on my pizza, but I can get down with that. I think chili oil is a no-brainer. But I want to feel the pain. And then there's one piece. Oh man. Now yeah, for like the greatest thank you ever, I get to do a sign plate. <laughs> Let's leave a little something for the workers. Yeah, perfect. Uh, and that's for y'all. Thank you. No problem. Add up the pin pin. Okay, okay, put it up there somewhere, somewhere. Thank yes, you, sir. Thank, thank, you, sir. thank you so much. Thank you, thank you all. Bye bye. Oh, wow. Hey, it's where I would want my eighth birthday party too. So, check this out. You got this restaurant here, and then there's nothing. I bet you so much money that restaurant keeps this building in business. Probably not, but 
It seems that way because that's where it's the only place anybody is. I'm gonna give you a score that's gonna make your mouth drop. Eight, nine on the pizza. Ooh. I don't know why you wouldn't come to Baguio. Good pizza, good weather, good people, got stuff, nature. I'm sleepy. Gotta take your taxi. Can you go SM Mall? All right. See you there. 78. You made it here cheaper than the other guy. Take 100. Thank you. Oh, can't open. Okay, thank you. Have a good day. Okay, back to the mall. Now, the only reason I came back to the mall is because I just want something sweet. You can't eat a big meal like that, have beer, and then not have something sweet afterwards. So that's what we're on the lookout for. All right, and you finally subscribed. Appreciate you, brother. Hey, that food looks good. I want to ask you, what? What's a good dessert to get in here? Something sweet. Chocolate cake. Chocolate cake. Where do I get chocolate cake? Starbucks. Oh, from the Starbucks? Yes. Oh. You have like any, I was thinking like milk tea or something. Milk tea. What's the best milk tea? <laughs> Probably chocolate. You like the chocolate? <laughs> All right, thanks brother. Appreciate you. <laughs> bye bye. That was no help. I was trying to figure out like where I wanted to go to get some dessert. But he just likes the chocolate from Starbucks. That's fair. <laughs> The name's funny, it's everything but cheese. But everything has cheese. Okay, I want a donut. And I'm curious, did it taste anything like America? Oh, they still got all the classics like Bavarian, chocolate marble. I love a good cake donut. Oh, they don't have one of my favorite, which is like a blueberry cake. I guess that's pretty American. Look at that, they get the nice Filipino like ube cream. Hello, can I do the queso duo? One, one ube cream. Uh, can I do a choco glaze? And then a Bavarian cream. Yeah, that will do for me, just those four. They got like a lot of American classics here. So you got like the Bavarian cream, the strawberry field, the Boston cream. A lot of these I like recognize for America, but then they get like, oh, look at these butternut munchkins. Uh, sorry, Paul. Paul, can I try the, the butternut munchkins? Yeah, sorry, I did not see till now. How many, sir? What's like one serving, how many? Can I just do two? Okay, sorry, I know it's just a little. Yeah, please, but with everything else. What else are That was it, that's too many donuts. Too many. Oh, are they not pet? They're up? Oh, my turn. Okay, sorry, sorry. It's 174, sir. Okay, can you use card? No card. Only cash. Okay, can you break 500? I think I have four pesos. You tell me, do I have? Sir, it's 20 pesos. Right, but this is a five, right? Oh, it's only a one. Okay, no good. <laughs> I tried. All right. Oh man, yes, lots, <laughs> lots of coins. <laughs> Thank y'all. We need a chair. Which may be impossible. Those were all taken. You know what? We're gonna prop it up. You got a view like this. You gotta get out here and enjoy it. Wow, this place looks good. Supreme chocolate mas mascarpone swirl. We may go there next, but I had to do a donut review because actually my go-to like franchise donut is Dunkin' Donuts. I mean, I got my hometown local places I love, but if I want like a donut from a fast food place, kind of, this is where I'm gonna go. Look at that. But what I wanna try is a little butternut. Is it gonna be like a Butterfinger? I was thinking it'd be like a Butterfinger when I heard it. Man, you know them. Mm. Who is she? Is it Hostess or Little Debbie's? Dang, I haven't been back in America too long. I'm losing my mind. Them wax donuts, you get the chocolate wax donuts or them powder donuts. It's just like that. They don't even taste different. They just look different. But here's what I want to do. I want to do two Filipino flavors. And I got two I get back in America, so it'd be easy to compare. I think right here, first thing though, ube donut. You scream in Philippines when you say ube, right? So I really had to try this one first. Underwhelming. I probably get just a Filipino sweet. I don't know if I'd ever get ube donut. I just get all them ube Filipino sweets that are so much better than this. To me, that was like nothing special. That was actually disappointing. So heading to a chocolate cake with the, the icing still on top. Comparable. Let's head it back to the Filipino style. The Quezon Con? Quezon Con? It could be cheese, right? Or does this come from Quezon City? Ha <laughs> ha. Ooh. The problem is Filipino sweets are too good. Good, but again, Filipino sweets, better. Strawberry filled, classic. I said strawberry, I think they gave me Bavarian. There ain't nothing strawberry about that. Not pure Bavarian cream. Boom, comparable to American. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I still think I like Filipino sweets better though. 
They put peppermint in that? They put something in that. I don't like that. It was good. My thing is, I don't know. Now we got to try out Krispy Kreme sometime while we're here. Um, just support your local Filipino bakeries. That stuff is so good. I don't know. You know, with Hello Hello, Leche Flan, all them little bready sweets in the bakeries. I don't know why you'd ever need to go to Dunkin', honestly. Just my opinion. I've been to a lot of malls. Oh, group photo time. Let's not spoil it. Maybe they'll get it done soon. Okay, they got it done. We can go through now. Did you get your photo? Yeah. Does it look good? Yeah. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, but yeah, Filipino malls may be the craziest thing ever. This is literally just in Baguio. This isn't even SM, this isn't even SM like Manila, which is like the biggest mall, I think in the world. If you got a, if you got a shopping addiction, like me, like my, just like my dopamine is just excreting, excreting through my neurons right now. Oh. Philippines is a place for you.